So we're going to talk about something called chemistry solutions. And there's some vocab that you have to understand. Okay. So up here, there's a word called solute. And really all that solute means is it's a thing that gets dissolved. Okay. So it might be salt, might be sugar, might be some sort of ionic or covalent compound, something that just breaks up in water. Okay. Typically water is your solvent. Solvent is the thing that does the dissolving. And when you put the two together, when you put solute and solvent together, you have something called a solution. And a solution is just a mixture of two or more different things. And we're going to learn the difference between a salt and a sugar solution. Okay. One of them can conduct electricity, or at least it can complete the circuit, an electrical circuit. The other one can't. There's an assignment that's also posted on School Loop. Okay, it gives you screenshots of what I'm doing here exactly. Or you can just kind of follow along and then just you know, write your thoughts down later. But I want you to drag this thing in, okay, so that the anode and the cathode are in the water like that. And when I add salt to this thing, okay, I could check this box that says show values. So you could see that the concentration of my salt solution goes up. If I add more salt, the light bulb becomes more luminous, it gets brighter. And we'll explain why in just a second. Let's just look at the difference between the two. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the salt. And let's look at sugar. We're going to add sugar. And you see there on the right, okay, the concentration is going up. But the light bulb is not getting luminous. And it doesn't matter how much sugar I add. Okay. So what's the difference? Let's go to this tab. Let's look at micro. So at the microscopic level, or the atomic level, whatever you want to call it. Let's see what happens. So here is sodium chloride, and as soon as it hits the water, you can see there it starts to dissociate. So dissociate just means the water just rips apart the molecules, and then it forms plus and minus charges, which then when you go back, you have to use your imagination here. The plus and minus sodium and chlorine ions complete this circuit. Okay, remember water can conduct a charge. So then this circuit's completed, and that's why the light bulb gets brighter. And if you're in class, I would show you this in person. I have the exact same setup. I would just make a salt solution, and then dip the two ends in water, and then the light bulb lights up. Okay, so I'm going to hit play, and just observe what happens. Okay, so the salt and chlorine dissociate. On the other hand, sucrose does not do this. Sucrose is a big giant molecule. Okay, let's look at the formula. It's C12H22O11. It dissolves, but it does not dissociate, meaning it doesn't form like charges. There's no charges floating in the water. It's neutral still. Okay, so just up close, let's see what happens here. So here's salt. Okay, so the sodium and the chloride just gets whisked apart. Okay, they get carried away by the water molecules. Let's see it again. Okay. It's whisked apart. I'll hit pause. You can see here there's sodium, there's chlorine, there's a plus, there's a minus. So that's why it's able to complete the circuit for that light bulb. On the other hand, here's sugar. Put in the sugar. Okay. So it dissolves the molecule, but it remains as like one big glob on this side. One big glob over here. But there's no plus and there's no minus. And that's the difference between the two. Okay. So that's like your really short, simple uh, lesson on solutions chemistry. Okay, it's just what's the difference between a salt and sugar solution. So I want you to go back on School Loop, and then you know either type in your thoughts or print it out and write this down. Okay, but play around with this app for yourself. Okay, and just explain the difference between salt and sugar solutions. Go through like the three different tabs again. Okay, define these terms over here, the vocabulary, and just answer the analysis and reflection questions.